Yeah. I guess my speakers, a couple of my speakers didn't show up. Some people were a little leery about coming because of the shooting the other night. But we can't let that stop us. No. We can't let that stop us. No. Why are we afraid? We are not afraid. Why are we afraid? We are not afraid. We are not afraid. So that's okay. I know we know not to call on them again. I won't say their names, but I won't call on them again. Yeah. So you mad at all? Yeah. 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 I bring greetings Thank from you. your brothers and sisters in Washington, D.C., where we, too, are hoping to hold truth-telling hearings of those who have been brutalized by the police. And we are testifying, broadcasting, organizing, teaching, and marching for racial justice in cities and towns across America. Campuses are on the move and mobilized. So we have 14 campuses in Washington, D.C. who hope to replicate what we have done here this weekend in Ferguson, uh, where we'll have further speak outs, teach-ins, workshops, testimonials of those who have experienced police violence. I just want to thank the people of St. Louis and the people of Ferguson for their hospitality these last five days. You have taught me so much. You have moved me so deeply. You are so courageous. And you've been out there for what, 217 days? 219. That is an amazing track record. And you have inspired so many people. This is a watershed moment in the history of the United States. You have gone global. People all over the world know of your actions. This is a major new social justice movement worldwide. People are connecting in Yemen, Tunisia, Hong Kong, Egypt, all over Africa. You are a role model for them, and you have moved the world. You have shaken the world. The whole world is watching, and we are so, so, so inspired by what you've done. So thank you. Thank you for being my teacher. And to veggie back off of what she said, just today I had someone come to me and she was talking about Hong Kong. And she was saying they would like to know what we did. And I was telling her that we did some of the things that they did. We brought up the fire, the fire chat. It was because I saw it on what they did. We brought up the umbrellas because we saw what they did. So she's standing right there. So she's representing Hong Kong, and they're trying to see what we're doing. people come up and speak their yeah. truth. <laughs> Why are we out here? Why is justice silent? What does that mean? It means that justice in the U.S. does not speak for us. It was not made for us. And so we keep asking the same questions. Why are they killing us? Why the police do what they do? But the system does what it was intended to do. And I think one of the points of this march, a silent march, is to reiterate that justice as is, is dead, and we have to wake it up! Yeah. Yeah. Justice as is, is dead! Right. And we have to wake it up! Yeah. Yes. Justice as is, is dead. And we have to wake it up. Justice as is, is dead. And 
We have to wake it up! That's all I got to say. <laughs> So we're opening it up. Young people, you have a platform right now to say something? You want to get your voice out? Come on, Mimi. All right, anybody? You have the opportunity? I'm passing the mic. We want to hear words. Any want to say something? <laughs> We are anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> we were expecting you. <laughs> that was good. That was cute. All right, you got jokes. Some lady said something powerful. We were in Selma. I'm going to come up and share that with you all real quickly while we're, we're still waiting. Jeff. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's hiding, but come on, tell the people what you said. It was very, it was powerful what you said, and it was played on NPR. Right, it wasn't scripted. It was. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's taking these people a while to come, and um, so I guess we'll go ahead and close out. It's taking. <laughs> so let's take back with us that it's up to us to make sure that justice does not stay, stay silent for me justice never even existed but for those that say it's silent it's silent for those that say it's dead it's dead but for me i haven't seen where it where it truly existed i haven't seen where we could just be free and know that justice will be on our side, know that if something was going on, that we would get the right thing, we would get what others get, or we would not get what others don't get. So with that, I can say, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no sleep. No justice, no sleep. No justice, no profit. No justice, no profit. Now, wait a minute. We forgot about that part. We got to remember that part. We forgot about the profit situation after Christmas. We got to remember that. We got to come up with something. At first, it was Walmart. Now, we can take it somewhere else. We got to remember, we it was about a 40% uh, 40 loss that they had, that Walmart had in those three days. 40%. And we did that. 1.7 million dollars. Yeah. We did that. We did that in a weekend. With that being said, somebody come up with something, pass it on. Let's hashtag it and get it out there and let's move. Uh, Thank you all for coming. Pick the <laughs> they make money. I'll just like to say this. Ferguson PD. Ferguson. Ferguson Police Department after this, man. Black Lives Matter every 28 hours. Yeah.
I wish everybody could cut their cameras off so I could start wearing this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I hear they're going to the Ferguson PD. I'm not sure if I am or not, but if I will, I'll try to stream. Uh, bye-bye.